Hi, my name is Alex Carlucci. I want to say Happy Easter from Gustin Cho Associates at Loan Cabin. I'm going to talk to you today about getting a mortgage while you're in a Chapter 13 or just after you discharge from a 13. Most lenders will tell you you have to be two years discharged. This is our meat and potatoes. This is our gravy here at Gustin Cho Associates. We make a living off of these. So we know we are the specialty house for doing loans in Chapter 13s or just after to, uh, discharge. So the rule is you got to be in the Chapter 13 for at least one year. And you can't have any lates on your Chapter 13 payment or on any reestablished credit that you might have opened since you filed your Chapter 13. Now, this is also called a manual underwrite. So you're not going to get approved eligible on a computer. So you have to follow what's called the manual guidelines. Manual underwrite is 31% front ratio, 43 back. That's the standard, and that will be the easiest for everybody. Um, if you want to go to higher ratios, there's conditions for that. You have to have money in the bank. You can't have payment shock uh, from your current rent. You, you uh, have to have additional money that we're not using maybe to qualify you, some overtime that we're not using, or you have to pass a residual income test. But let's just say you're uh, doing a standard uh, 31 over 43, and uh, all you'll need is a mortgage payment uh, after you close in the bank. And if you pay the closing costs, that once you have one mortgage payment in the bank, that's all they'll require from you on a manual underwrite on a Chapter 13. So if you've been in your Chapter 13 for three years or is just discharged, the rule is they want to see you pay the Chapter 13 for the last 12 months on time. They're going to order that from your trustee. Uh, the trustee is the one that's handling it for the courts, and uh, they're the ones collecting your payments and dispersing it to all the creditors. Um, so when you, let's say you pass all the manual underwrite guidelines and you, you weren't, haven't been laid on anything, and what the next step is what I want to talk to you about. So let's say you're paying $1,000 a month rent and you want to buy a house and the mortgage payment is $2,000 a month. Um, and let's say you have $10,000 in closing costs and you have 3.5% down and now that's 15 grand, let's say, out of your, that you, you have in the bank. And you're going to buy the house with $15,000 out of your pocket for down payment and closing cost, and you got a $2,000 mortgage payment versus your rent. Well, the next step is what we do is you apply for the mortgage after I pre-approve you, which I would not pre-approve you in this situation. I'm going to explain why. Is that you have to apply for the mortgage with a contract. I give that exact address on a, an application. I give it a rate, a payment, and it, you're going to take that to your bankruptcy attorney. He's going to schedule an appointment with the trustee, and the trustee is going to present it to the judge. Now, a trustee and the judge are not going to agree that you have an extra $15,000 laying around that, the, that you can use that for a down payment of the house. They're going to ask you to give them some of that money. So that's one of the things that you're going to, you're going to run into as a, as a dead end is that you have, you have too much money in the bank, and they're going to want some of it. Number two, they don't want to see you taking on new debt that way more than you're currently paying because they don't want they, they, if you have extra money, they want the extra money. So they're not going to approve a $2,000 payment when you're paying $1,000. So you want to try to stay close to your $1,000. You can go to $1,200, $1,300. It's harder and harder the farther away you go. So you want to stay within that you know, range of you know, a couple hundred dollars over your $1,000 payment. Um, so the, the step is this. So you call your bankruptcy attorney. He takes the paperwork that we provide along with your contract to the trustee. The trustee presents to the judge, and the judge says, stamp and it won't get approved unless the trustee agrees that you can handle this payment and you, you don't have excessive money. We get that approval from the trustee and we just send it to the underwriter and the underwriter will approve you. So that is the process of doing a Chapter 13 uh, manual underwrite uh, loan. And those are the things, that, the hurdles you're going to run into. So have your, give us a call and we'll show you how to do this. It's, uh, it's a little tricky, but we're, the, we're specialists at this. And I hope you like this video. If you do, please like it below. And uh, if you have any questions, leave the questions below. We'll get back to you. And again, happy Easter from Dustin Chill Associates.